All right, welcome everyone, and um, today is Saturday, January 6, 2018, and we want to welcome you today to our Saturday training. This is a training that's been going on for several years, um, every Saturday. We have a collaboration of a lot of different organizations, and today especially we've got a lot of people on the line. We've got individuals from uh, the West Coast to the East Coast to the Midwest, and um, I know that in particular in Chicago, in one household, there's this, there's like a party. Um, I know that there's Diane Helmold, the Laughlin, the Furlongs. Um, for those of you that are new, they're, they're powerhouse distributors, they're presidential directors, and they're on this call today. And um, we're glad to have you. And it, it, this is, I'm always nervous about the first call of the year because it kind of sets the tone. But we have a lot of things that we're going to talk about today. And um, my name is Clyla Bueller. And I'm on the call. My husband's on the call as well. And um, we're going to be hosting this call today. And uh, just excited to be able to implement this. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to do a little bit of housekeeping and some weekly things that we do. And um, one of the things thing, is we want to make sure that um, we recognize um, any new advancements for last month, anyone that might have made it up to new levels. Um, we also want to make sure that uh, if you had any success stories last, well, we'll do those kind of at the bottom here, but any recognition, anyone that made it up to any new levels, um, master affiliate, maybe a, a um, master director master or senior director, any of those that um, you might have made it to. And if not, we're okay. This is a great place to start. All right. Let's talk about impending events. Um, if everybody that's on the line want to let us know what's happening in your area. And I'll, I'll kind of start in Portland. Our next um, impending event will be in two weeks on the 20th. That will be at, at our home at the Bueller's. And we're going to be having a potluck at 6 o'clock in the evening. Um, and that will be a, a lot of fun. And for those that are in our area, we've sent out um, information about that. So that's what we're doing. That's the next thing in Portland, aside from our, our training next week on Saturday. Who who else wants to share what's going on in your area? And you need to star um, six to unmute your line. Utah, I know you have things going on. California, I know you've got things going on. Probably Chicago, you probably do too. Hi, this is Nancy from Detroit. Hi, Nancy, welcome. Actually- Thank you. It's our um, our Christmas party is actually tonight, just a fun potluck party at um, Tony and Joni's house. And then two weeks from, well, we have a number of other events, but then two weeks from today we have um, Tom and Tina coming to town. Fun. So that's be really that's, exciting. Yes, that will be. Thank you. All right, so we've got things going on in Detroit. Who else wants to share? Anybody? We have our regular Tuesday night meetings here in Southern California. Yay. All righty. Down in the Laird's neck of the woods. Um, Chicago, what do you have going on, Diane? You need to star six your phone or unmute. Let me see what's happening. People going through their computer can't, oh, that'd be dirty. Oh, oh, people going through their computer can't unmute. I wonder how, I always forget how to undo that. Oh, I know, I have to just unmute it at my end. Thanks, Dorothy. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Hold on. All right, all the lines are unmuted now, which is really kind of crazy, so... If everybody who's not talking would star six or just mute your line, that'd be great. That way everybody else can talk. So, Diane, what do you got going on? Uh, Tuesday night, Great Hotel in Oak Brook, big opportunity meeting. Great. All righty. Okay. Hey, Quila, Julie Moeller that... here. <clears throat> just wanted hi, everyone to know. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> Good. We're excited. We're going to have our first Tuesday of the month on the 12th, or excuse me, next Tuesday the 9th, and it'll be in, at the Holiday Inn in Dublin, and we have so many home presentations going on in the Bay Area 
that we have a NorCal um, Facebook closed page for people that want to join that. So if you want to get on NorCal, mm-hmm. just you can also ask me, and you can find out where home presentations are going on all over the Bay Area all month long, okay? How fun. That is great. That's a great, great idea. Very fun. All right. Um, I Finally, to we have... Leave. Hi, Roger. We have a event in northern Utah in Smithfield on January 10th at 7 o'clock, and Ambassador Jennifer Eves is going to be doing that event. And I know that that's going to involve people from Logan, uh, southern Idaho, all over in that area. So oh, fun. I bet you that will be a great, great event. Great. Anyone else that wants to share? All right, so I'm gonna. Um, I want. I really want to leave the lines unmuted for just a little bit. I'm gonna go. Let me just do something here. Trying to. All right, I want to go. Let me go over here. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> you guys can all see my screen. Okay, so one of the things I want to talk about, kind of making sure that everyone is aware that all the Fit3 products. I'm going to have to mute these lines. There's a little bit of background noise. Hold on a second. All right. All the Fit3 products are on sale. Um, the the neat thing about that is that um, it, it's just a great time to go ahead and do that. And they, they sent out some information off of our ambassador call, and basically um, the, the Fit3 kits have been dropped by about 10%. And then there's individual discounts, and the per unit retail price on the active is dropped from $112 to $98. That's a 12.5% discount. So those are on sale. Um, make sure that you're aware of the um, Buddy Up and Win uh, Fitness Friend Challenge. Um, there's a Fun and Fitness Weight Loss Challenge for you and a friend, and you can earn a trip to Anaheim. Uh, free ground shipping is extended into January. So all new or existing distributors who are below the 25% profit level and they place an order for $500 or more, that qualifies them as a quick start. And they'll receive a free grand shipping if they're at that level and they want to get up to a higher uh, master affiliate order, they'll also receive free grand shipping. And then also the Puerto Vallarta trip has been extended into January. And um, that, that's pretty exciting. And the reason that they did that, and I'm going to read my notes here, is that um, let me find this. they had just a ton of people that were extremely close to um, earning that trip. And so they wanted to make sure they gave everybody a, just one more month. They've got time to be able to do that. And that's a really great thing. And so um, just make sure that you're all aware of, of what's going on, those bonuses and the promotions that's uh, Exciting time. Hold on, I'm trying to find my <laughs> trying to find my stuff here. Okay, so oops, I think I'm too far. Okay, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the ambassador call that we had. We had a call earlier this week, and um, it was a great call. Uh, Tom was on the call. Ryan Montgomery, Bob Montgomery were on the call, and um, it's pretty fun. They they really talked about um, kind of reading some of the notes that they sent out. And that is, uh, they believe that 2008 is going to be a year of business and product development. And um, Relib has a solid foundation, and there will always remain true to our standards and principles, but we will continue to evolve with the consumer world and the industry trends. Uh, We're a people business, and together we need to continue building relationships because organizations grow on personal interaction, and that's never going to change. But we also need to integrate technology, um, online resources, and social media that's going to reach more people and engage them into our system. So the business development will have an emphasis on, one, new people, two, getting them started effectively, and three, making them relivered for life. That's going to be the focus. And everything that they do in this year is going to focus on those three categories recruiting, onboarding, and retention. 
So when you look at recruiting, they said that the number one objective uh, needs to become our number one mindset. And we all know that growth comes from new people. No one's business on this line grows with, unless we have new people. So they're going to be introducing new recruiting videos. They're going to have promotions that emphasize and reward recruiting and new volume. Um, the ones, we're, we're, everyone on this call, we're the ones that's going to make that happen. They just talked about the numbers um, last year, and they said that since they implemented the preferred con customer program, um, the new customer and preferred customer figures have surpassed new distributors, and they're good with that. They want happy and consistent product users, but what they want to do is double those numbers. So last year we had about we had close to 10,000 um, new um, consumers, uh, preferred customers and distributors. And so what they want to do is double all that. And if they make that their number one objective, what that means is everyone's business is, is going to grow. Then I talked about our recruiting. We want to get those people, but the second most important thing is that onboarding. And um, it's getting people started effectively. And I thought they were sharing an industry statistic that 80% of recruiting comes from distributors that have been involved in Relive 12 months or less. 80% of recruiting is for a brand new distributor that's been involved with the company 12, 12 months or less. And 40% of the recruiting comes from distributors that have been involved for 30 days. And think about all of it for each of you that have been on this call, how your first, you know, um, your first 30 days, your first year. The majority of recruiting happens with newer distributors, so they need to be given that direction, and they really talked about um, onboarding. They're going to produce tools and videos that support onboarding goals, and um, you're going to see some new ISCAR videos coming out with Tom Pennick uh, next week, and these fundamental skills, are, are they're never going to change. And so what happens in the first few days really impacts the trajectory of a new person. Um, then they talked about uh, retention. So, you know, we can bring both of the people on and we can, you know, onboard them, but if we don't keep them, it's like a revolving door. So we do good, but we can do better. We actually have an extremely high retention rate. Retention comes from three things, product results, making money, and relationships. So the key to relationships and making money is having a structure for people to plug into, which is what it sounds like each and every one of us are all doing in our areas. And one of the fundamental skills is uh, promoting the next event, and we can all do better at that. We, you know, promotion used to be the big thing when we first got started. I mean, we, it really wasn't even the event. It was the promoting the event, the promotion that built our business. So we really want to talk about that. Um, they talked about, uh, you know, the, the Foundation City is doing one Saturday event a month, and from time to time they're going to get out. They, they really want to really focus on those three areas um, this year. It was a really great call. Bob Montgomery was on the call. Um, just, just fun to hear his voice, though. That was, that was neat. So that was our ambassador call. We do have other ambassadors on the line, and I will, I'm going to unmute the lines if you want to share, and then I want to go right into what happened during the week. So hold on. Uh, hold on, make sure I get the right number here. Uh, two. All right. Go ahead and share, ambassadors. Anything you want to add to that ambassador call and or success story? So this is open to everybody to share. Kind of, can you guys all hear me okay? I'm hoping that you can. Yeah. Okay. Anybody want to share anything about the ambassador call, ambassadors that are on the line, and or the successes that you've had last week. I'll start. Last week we had a um, an individual that um, we had had on the product uh, years ago, gave us a phone call, and she did a quick start. So that's always fun when those kind of things happen. So just that, that would be an example of sharing some success stories. Okay. Can you hear me, Lila? Yes. All right. This is uh, Diane Helmo, and I think we have never been at a better spot with the as relive distributors, I'm getting a feedback. You guys can hear me? 
Yeah, we, I can hear you. So as long as you can um, not, and if everybody else can mute your line, that will eliminate the feedback that people have when they're trying to share. So if someone's trying to share and you're not talking, go ahead and mute your line. Okay, go ahead, Diane. Yeah, I just think we've never been at a better spot. Um, a lot of growth, a lot of growth has to happen. You're right. It's the leaders that are listening right now. It's up to us to go out. I mean, I think about Tom Pinnock, who left his house in Orlando. He only lived there less than a year. His dream home. And uh, he left that. He sold it. And his wife is supporting him, and they now live in Missouri again. So I look at what he did, and I say, gosh, am I like that? Am I really throwing my hat out, you know, and uh, move stepping forward? So this is a new year, you guys. And uh, I can be a better version of myself by sharing more and following up more and building those relationships. And I think we need to keep those three in common. Uh, what 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 keeps us going is the product results. It is building the friendship. And what was the third? Oh, I know. It's making money. You know, when people are making money, they're happy. And I worked with my success story is I worked with my Jagger size teacher. She said, when I get 10 customers on affiliate and she went master affiliate the last day of the month so i'm excited because she has 10 people that are get already getting results and you know what it's an exciting time for her and for me helping her so yay congratulations diane that's wonderful that's fun that's really good who else wants to share hey quila can hey, this is joyce can you hear me can you hear me hi joyce i can and I'm echoing all over. So we're here gathered at Mayor Hill's house having a webinar party. Um, some people did the workout to start, but I have to say after the ambassador call, Steve and I felt um, just so excited about where Relive is going in 2018. I love how innovative the company is and all the new things that they have for us and ways to help us build our business. It's going to be an incredible year for people that want to just kind of pick up the ball and run with it. Um, their goal, Tom Pinnock said, you know, his goal is to help every single Relive distributor build their check. And he said for all of us ambassadors to find someone and help them get to ambassador. And that's, that's our plan. And we're really excited about what, what the year looks like. You know, I'm really glad that you mentioned that, Joyce, because that is one emphasis he talked about is for us. You know, we we kind of look at people that are going to pop their heads up, and, you know, he really helped us try to focus to find that one you know, one person and just work with them. And um, I think that's what a lot of us are going to do, so I'm excited about that. Thanks for that. Thanks for putting that in there. I, 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 had, I had my printed out notes and I had written notes, and <laughs> that's the one part I missed. Thank you. All right. Who else you bet. To share? All right, so you guys, we can share later. We've got a huge call, lots of things to talk about today. I'm going to leave the lines open, but if they start to get, um, you know, crackly and noisy, which maybe I won't, I'll go ahead and uh, <laughs> close them, so hold on. And if you want to say something, put it in the chat box, and we can bring it down, and I'll, um, I'll unmute the line, so hold on. Let's hold on. Okay, so before we get started, I'm just kind of letting everyone know how this happens. Last year, um, when we went to join me, we actually had been doing Instant Presenter for years, and we didn't have a cost for that um, because we had referred a lot of people. And anyway, but we did get a cost with Join Me. So last year, the Portland group paid for everyone else to listen to these calls. And um, because we've had so many people that joined in on these calls for the last year and that will be joining in this year, um, we're kind of sharing that. And, you know, I can tell you that um, if there's any extra that comes in, that will be applied towards the Join Me for the next year. But we um, kind of went through this and felt there's 52 weeks a year so if an area, if you're an area that has more than um, three or more people, if you'd be willing to contribute thirty dollars, um, that's sixty three cents. So let's say like Diane, you probably had twelve people at your house. So thirty bucks for everyone that's in that um, area, that's not that bad. Sixty three cents a week. If you're in an area with one or two people, 
it's $10 uh, a year. So that's not bad, 21 cents. So if we all contribute to the expense, it brings down the cost. And granted, Portland was, we were very happy to pay last year, but um, really would like to have the contribution for this year. So here's my address. You can send me a check. And um, I had asked Holly, our treasurer, if it should come to me or go to her, and she just said, have it come to me. That way I can keep track of who's um, sent their check. And I want to let you know, I've received one check in the last three weeks, and that's from Dorothy Post. And Dorothy, thank you. She's from Boston, all by herself. So um, send them to me, Quila Bueller. It's spelled Q-U-I-L-A. And the last name is Bueller, B-U-H-L-E-R. The address is 19925 Sophia Court, Oregon City, Oregon, 97045. And, um, yeah, and, you know, we do these calls on the Monday night, the ambassador calls, and Joyce and Steve Polkhouse are in charge of that. And as ambassadors, we divide that cost. So this isn't anything new. Um, it is kind of what we do. If you're in the Portland area and you do contribute to our uh, Portland dues, you do not need to worry about this because it's already been paid for at, at our end. So that's kind of what I wanted to start. Anyone have any questions about that? You can put your question in the chat box. Do you have a question? I think it's pretty explanatory, but here we go. All right. So today's training, I want to talk about sponsoring. I want to talk about getting people to master affiliate. And and this is part of a training. You know, one of the things I always do is I keep trainings that I've had for, for years, and I brought this out. And uh, this was several years ago, but um, some of you might remember it. I don't know if some of you will or not. But this happens when you, and you're going to want to fill in these blanks, when you prepare for blank, blank, when you reveal the blank, blank, and you help people blank, blank. That, that's what we're going to work on today. Prepare for, reveal the, and help people. Okay, first one. So when, like when, when, when do we get started in Relive? Is it tomorrow? Should it have been yesterday? It's now. That, that's when we get started doing all of this. People don't like to wait. So when, when, they, um, when they have an issue or they, they you know, bring something up, I think the question you need to ask yourself is, are you ready to talk about Relive at any moment? I mean, a lot of us think that, man, I'd sure like to build my business. But then someone comes to us and maybe they they, they don't even come to us. Maybe they have a, a business issue. Maybe they need finances. Maybe they need um, help with uh, from their health. I mean, most people need those two things. But you need to ask yourself, are you prepared to talk to people? Are you prepared to to connect people to a story on the spot? I mean, some of us do that, some of us don't. But are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared to get someone on the product right now? Do you have product in your home? Do you have shaker cups in your house? Or do you do you know how it all works? Do you know how to put people on and, and place an order? I know that some of you might be rolling your eyes and saying, well, I know how to do that, but I'm going to guarantee you there are lots of people in your group that do not. I think this is the biggest one. Do you know how to show the compensation plan on a napkin? One of the things that will happen this year on this call is um, you're going to be hearing about the compensation plan. I actually talked with Tom, oh gosh, it was on Thursday. We talked for about an hour. And, you know, I, I just, my, my biggest concern and my biggest feeling is that um, you can't, you, you cannot know how to build a business if you don't know, um, how it works if you don't understand how we earn income. And that means you need to understand the compensation plan by heart. It's one of the very first things that Tom told me how to do, and that was to understand how all of this worked. How can you explain it to someone else? How can you expect them to follow you if you don't know where you're going and if you don't know it yourself? It's a very big, important thing. Um, so it, that, that's one of the biggest things that we need to learn is how to do that. So what we want to talk about is, is these things. So you need to prepare to have immediate action. And you want to do it now rather than later. Because you never know. And you could be going out today. I mean, usually on Saturdays, I like to go out 
and be around people and whether it's go shopping because I always will bump into people I know. I'll I'll observe people. It gives you a chance to to really do some prospecting in a cold market um, and you need to be prepared to talk to people. You guys, let's face it. I mean, if your business isn't growing, it's because we're not opening our mouths and we're not building our business. I know that there are people on this call who I talked to yesterday or, yeah, yesterday, that have um, huge things going on this week that they're doing, um, getting in touch with brand new people. So you just need to ask yourself, and I always like to ask myself, if my organization followed my lead, if they did what I did during the day, would my business grow? See, everyone that's on this call, you're a leader. There's there's over well over 60 people on this call. I'm showing we've got 48 connections, but you have to know that in some places we've got more than, than you know, Diane's place, you've got about 10 or 12. So, you know, we have a lot of people on this call. And imagine if we each went out and just found one new person and they came on to this, you know, into the business, those numbers would double. If we had a call next week, we'd have 120 people on the call. So it, it, we always kind of wait for someone else to do it. But I'm saying if you're going to be a leader, you need to do it. All right. So what I want to talk about a little bit is kind of what Tom taught us on, on how, we, how we built our business. And that is um, think about if you're standing at a door and you're going to go on an adventure. And you've been told that things are great and there's there's great things that are going to happen on the other side of this door. There's, I mean, gifts. There's, there's just this better life. And you're going to step and you're going to go through with a little bit of uncertainty. And you, this is what you see. You see that. You're like, hmm. Okay, there's this huge canvas and all you see is this little line. And you're thinking to yourself, well, what did I just get myself into? I mean, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what they're what they're talking about. I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't get this. Well, then you see that. Got a little bit more added to that line. A little bit more. And you're still thinking, what in the heck is that? I don't know what that is. I don't even know what this is about. I don't get it. This is so, you know, I, I just don't get this. Well, what happens when you see that? Okay, kind of think, hmm, some things are starting to fill in a little bit. I don't know. Can you figure it out? It looks like a road, okay, but it's still very discombobulated. To me, that looks like you could have a lot of detours, a lot of wipeouts, because the road, it's not complete. But there you go. Now you can kind of see that we're headed in a direction. What is it? It's a road. Here's what I want to show you. This is what Tom Panic taught me, and this is what we're talking about onboarding. This has everything to do with onboarding. When Tom, oh, sorry. Hold on, let me get back to my little line. Okay. When Tom taught Jim and I how to do relive, he said that we needed to paint the entire picture. You guys, this is a problem that many of you are doing, is that when you go out, you're only talking about maybe being a consumer. Um, you know, maybe you're just talking about how great the products are. Maybe you're talking a little bit about how they can become a 10 percenter. Um, maybe you're talking about, oh, maybe you can do a quick start. But then maybe some of you, if you talk about master affiliate, you can also talk about dreams. You can talk about, you know, um, finding out what people want. And here's the thing. You know, we bring people in. We have a tendency to just give them our agenda, what we think is important. But you need to find out what's important for them. Tom told me that if you left one part of your, com of your canvas um, unpainted, if there was one little smidgen that wasn't filled in, you're, you're going to miss something. You want to find out like an onion. Peel it. Keep peeling down those layers to find out what is it. What would get a person involved to getting into relive? Sure, we all hear that, yep, I want to make more income. Well, great. Well, why do you? What would that do? Um, I remember that Javier Ramirez, I was in California with him, and we were sitting down, and there was a brand-new distributor, and he asked her, you know, what do you, what do you want to get out from Real Love? And she, she had very broken English, and she said, I want to make $4,000 a month. And he 
he said, okay. So he took his phone and he set it in front of her and he goes, great. You just made $4,000 a month this month. What are you going to do with it? And she goes, oh, I'm going to pay bills. He goes, great. So he takes the phone away and he sets it back in front of her and he goes, oh, he goes, you just made $4,000 your next month. What are you going to do with it? And she goes, hmm. She goes, I think I'm going to buy a new car. He goes, fantastic. So he takes the phone back and he puts it in front of her again. He goes, you made $4,000 again this month. What are you going to do with it? And he kept doing that for about, um, I don't know, about 10 or 12 times. She went everything from paying the car off to putting some money into the bank. And then it got to the point where she goes, I don't know. Because you see, you guys, at one point when you're becoming involved in relive, money, it, it does not become the issue. Money isn't the motivator because you're making the money. What would motivate you to keep going in relive? Because sometimes it's more than just material things. It's relationships. It's, it's, it is that um, financial security. But what is it? I mean, what is it that drives you with relive? You know, for us, Jim and I, we we love the Relive products. I mean, in in 26 and a half years, I've never, well, almost 26 and a half, I've never went a day without taking my Relive shakes. I love chocolate and I love apples. And I've gone days where I haven't had chocolate or an apple, but I've never gone a day without my Relive shakes. So, you know, for us, we will always be on these products. So we will always be in the business. They go hand in hand. We, we love both aspects. It's like a wheel. They're combined. But you need to ask yourself, why are you involved? And you need to be able to learn how to paint the picture. You need to be able to learn to explain to everyone what all the options are in Relive. That director program, we can look at that in a few minutes. But you need to know how to be able to share what's involved with Relive and how to be able to help people hit their goals. Reveal the whole picture. You don't want to leave anything out. You, you, you want to be able to talk about the company. You want to be able to talk about the product. Um, you know, I found this saying today. I, it was yesterday's. I have, um, I keep track of myself by um, Franklin Planner, and I have the Compass Planner. And yesterday's thought was, nothing could be worse than the fear that one had given up too soon and left one unexpected extended effort that might have saved the world. And I always think about that with Dr. Kalagras, about how he spent over 10 years of his life and, you know, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of formulations before he came to the right one. What would have happened if he would have stopped at like 699? We wouldn't have had the classic. We wouldn't have had our company. So you can talk about that. Talk about the mission of Relive. But you do see if you're looking on the line here, bolded in big lines is the word compensation plan. I'm going to reiterate, you cannot build a business unless you know our compensation plan. And don't feel stupid if you don't know it. I've gone on many, many appointments when I first started and I got it wrong and people came in at Master Affiliate. You don't know if you're making a mistake. You just do your best. Or you can just bring the numbers with you and tell them, you know what, I'll show you and, let me, and go through it with them, even if it's all filled in. But you need to learn how all that works. The second thing here is um, you need to do an appointment, face-to-face, -face, webinar, special event. That's going to build your business, our appointment, all right? If you, there's some people, especially that get in Relive and they go out and they're like a flash, flash in the pan. They come in, they, they put all these people in the product, they don't do anything. Maybe it might even be via internet, which is great. Social media is great. However, you need to do appointments. You need to talk to people. You need to to let them know, Jim, a couple of days ago, spent um, about an hour on the phone with the new distributor that we have, just explaining how things work. If you don't explain anything, they don't know. And we just assume that they do. They don't. So you need to take the time. Invest. Um, an appointment is at any time you're showing someone the complete picture, the company, the products, the mission, and the compensation plan. If you look at the bullet above, it says don't leave anything out company, product, mission, compensation plan. That's what an appointment does. So talk about all of that. It's extremely important. All right. So you want to explain the details. We've got our common two entry points. 
And, you know, the, I, I like to start at the top. I like to start at master affiliate and then go down to the um, quick start, which is at 25. Yes, there's other options there. But, you know, if, if someone, here's the thing that we're always afraid of. Be honest. If you're going to build a business, position yourself at the best spot, which is master affiliate. That's at 40%, okay? Um, master affiliate. 5,000 points, $5,000 in product. You save about, well, you save 35%. That's a 54% return on your investment, okay? 35.75 is your investment. Shipping is right now at, well, it's free shipping, actually. So your your price would be um, 35.75. But any, uh, if you were coming in at other points, it would be um, 2%. So make sure people know that that initial order is at 35%. And after the qualifying order, all future orders are at 40% savings. And, you know, we look, oops, sorry, let me go back here. We look at this um, as also, you know, Jim and I got in to this. I, I was thinking that we were going master affiliate so I could get the product at the best price. I always wanted to get, I'm a girl with my, you know, an eye for a bargain. There are, Jim was looking at it as an investment. And so he thought, man, even if we, you know, had to um, pay a little bit of interest for a month or two, it was still better than me paying uh, a lower level during the year of consuming the product. But for us, in three weeks, that product was was moved out of our house. And I, I specifically remember walking into the one room where we had it, and I thought, where, do, where is it? I, I need it. It was almost, um, <laughs> I had an addiction because I had gotten such good, great results. And I knew that this was something I wasn't going to be without. You guys, that's the other thing. You need to know how to get people results. You think that you're just out putting people on, you know, don't get into all of the, don't get into too detail. I really think that that's what has, has slowed the company, or it slowed my business down when we all started becoming doctors. We all started to pretend that we were prescribed, you know, we were getting so technical. Here's the, the bottom line with Reload. You're going to feel better if you take the product than if you don't. And if you put people on other calls, they will hear other people that said, I increased my product, I took additional shakes, they can figure it out. Nobody ever told me to, you know, what I needed to take. My doctor just said, um, if you want to take more shakes, great. It's not, it's great. You know, if you feel that you need more, take more. It's not that big of a deal. Um, you'll probably get enhanced results. That's all. It was that simple. So we just complicate it. You don't need to do that. You don't have to go into um, all this this stuff. Just lay it out and let people make their decision. And what we have a tendency to do is we make decisions for people, and we we do them right here, which is fine. Quick Start's a great place. But if you're going to Quick Start somebody, let them know how they can get up to master affiliate. Quick Start is 25 percent, um, three thirty three percent return on your investment. It's about three hundred and uh, $75 free shipping right now, but if you were paying shipping, it'd be about $395. Great place to start. Those are your two real entry points. That's where they should be, all right? And um, if people can't get to that, then you show them other options. You show them how to get them. But you need to understand. All right, the benefits. Why should we be a master affiliate? Purchase your own product for your own consumption. The biggest saving. You earn the most profit when you share the products with others. Um, you know, you can participate in the three additional forms of income that are only available to a master affiliate, overrides, bonuses, and trips. And then there's the ambassador program. And, um, you know, compared to the 25% level, the master affiliate level is six times the investment, but 10 times the profit. If you're kind of shaking your head on that and want to make sure you hear it again, it's master affiliate is six times the investment, but 10 times the profit. We forget that. When's the last time you shared that with someone? But it's been a while. Hold on, have somebody. It is awesome, Robert. It's, it's, I mean, we just absolutely, completely have forgotten the things that are, you know, that really made us roll when we first started. All right, you receive a 54% return on your investment. You have a 100% one year buyback guarantee on the business. The risk, 350 bucks. That's nothing. You can own a willable form of residual income and you qualify for business tax deduction. You know, I loved it in our very first year. We, we had thousands and thousands of dollars of, of deductions. But those were things that we would have done anyway. I remember that it's when cell phones were coming out 
They were like bricks, but we were able to detect that. I remember that our car, we detected, um, well, I don't know how it worked, but Jim worked with our, um, we saw the same tax account we did when we started Reload, and uh, we were able to detect portions of that. Computers. You know what? I'm sitting here with my Mac right now. I would have a Mac anyway, but I can deduct it because it's a business expense. I'm doing business. Um, paper. Jim just bought a brand, brand new printer a couple days ago for our office. I can deduct that. We'd have a printer anyway. Why wouldn't you do that? But if you're trying to make all those deductions and you're at a, a smaller savings, I always let people know, um, you, can, you could probably get audited for that. You know, you want to show that you've got some skin in the game. So become a master affiliate. It's just what you want to do. All right. So here we have that road, but it's a little bit foggy. So the clarity on all of this, all right, that's that onboarding again. It comes with stories. And um, I think that's part of what we've forgotten is, is stories. So what is the power? Every Saturday there are trainings and trainings in your areas. We have this training every Saturday. With the exception of Easter weekend, Memorial weekend, Labor Day, Fourth of July, Christmas, New Year. So maybe five weekends a month we don't have it. But the rest of the time, or six, we do. Every Saturday there's a training here. And, you know, Diane's going to be getting involved in this. Steve and Joyce are involved. I encourage other ambassadors to get on this call and to help with training. We have a lot of distributors that do these trainings. We've got, you know, Roger Broberg, Glenn uh, Pecorelli. We've got Yvette Dickey. We've got Barbara Bonnage. We have so many. April Reynolds. I mean, I, 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 I know that I'm, I'm missing a ton of people, and I apologize. I'm just trying to tell you. Incredible. When more people contribute, um, we all get a lot more out of it, and that's how it works. So you need to learn how to share our story. You know, on the Monday night calls that we have on the ambassador calls, we always try to tell people to, you know, stick to a one-minute, maybe two-minute story, and they go longer. Do you know how to share your story? There's the, there's the story that we share when we share with others. I mean, I have like three or four different forms. I've got this one long form that when there's someone very, very sick, um, I have them listen to my recorded call because it's like a 40-minute call that goes into every solace detail. And there's people that want to do that. I don't have time to do that. No way. Absolutely do not have time to do that. But, um, you know, I'm able to share with uh, some people that, and that might be a 15-minute call. Some people might only be a five-minute call. But you need to learn how to share your story. You need to learn how to connect people to stories. There's nothing worse than I hate is when somebody calls me, and hate's a strong word, but I hate this. Someone will call and they'll say, you know, hi, hi, Sue, um, you know, this is Mary, and Quila wanted to share her story. You know what? I've had points where I'll just hang up <laughs> because I'm thinking I'm not doing that. And they'll call me back and say, oh, we got disconnected, and I say we did. And then I'll get back and say, now, you had asked me if I could share my story with, with Sue, correct? And Mary would go, yeah. I mean, I just I get angry with that. So you don't set people up that way. We're not out there wanting to share our story. It's a privilege for other people to share our story. Where is the $350 risk with the 100% buyback? I don't think it exists anymore. What do you mean? You guys, there it, we have a 100% guarantee with the business. So if you go out and if you place a master affiliate order and you never open up any can, you never do anything with it, and it sets in your, in your house, and um, then, you know, 362 days later, you decide, oh, I don't want this. You call Relive, they figure out the shipping, and then you return the product, and any unused product, you're able to get that. Does that make sense? Everybody get that? Is there something that perhaps I'm, not, I'm missing? Quietly. Yes. My question was, is on your master affiliate slide, you said that there was only a $350 risk, and I was going with it being 100% guarantee, there's no risk anymore. Oh, right. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. There isn't any risk. Sorry. That's, I got that. Um, my brain was thinking faster than my typing. Yes, you're right. Absolutely right, Roger. Thank you. You're always so good. You always point out those things. And I can tell you, everybody on this call can tell when I take my 24K when I don't. <laughs> so I did take it. Thank you, Roger. But right, there is no risk. That, that's a great thing. We did have a risk when Jim and I first started. 
And but that's one of the reasons that we got involved is that um, we wanted to um, to be a part of all of this. I mean, we we wanted to be a part. So make sure that you know how to connect people to a story. If you don't, call your sponsor. And if they don't, go upline. Go keep going up until someone can help you know how to um, connect people to story. The importance of stories to your business. I mean, it's it's like the the glue that hold your your business together. Stories are everything. You know, we used to be at this one point where, I mean, stories is all we did. And now for some reason we think that, oh, people don't want to share stories. They do. You guys, we just have to get better at sharing them. If you get on the line and you're talking to them for 35 to 40 minutes and then you say, oh, you want to hear a story? I would say, no, I don't have that kind of time. But you know, I, if somebody was talking to me and we were very brief to the point, we were talking about me instead of them, okay, if I was a new customer, and then they said, look, I've got a couple individuals that, you know, you'd really benefit from hearing from, um, you you might, you know, you'd really benefit five minutes, I think you'd really enjoy listening to um, how the products and the business have benefited them. And if I said five minutes, this individual and they said, okay, I'm going to do the call. But remember, if I put the other person on the call and they go beyond five minutes, I'm going to say, you know what, um, you know, I'll just say, Bob, I I told my friend Sue that the call was only going to be five minutes, so can you just kind of maybe hit your bullet points because we, we've got to go. You guys, don't be afraid to step in. I hear a lot of people that get on the calls and they go, well, they, they just were taking forever and I didn't know what to do. You interrupt them. The people that you have on the line are your assets. They're not the other person. You need to take care of them. If you tell someone something, stick to it. I hope this makes sense. All right. So you've got to get people results. We use the stories to help people get results, and then we take their vision from there. Um, hold on. I'm having a problem here. So how do we get people results? We do it with stories. We call them. Um, you know, what you want to make sure when you're calling an individual, especially about reordering, you know, I had people in the very beginning where I'd be calling them, we'd be following up, and you, you've you got some people that are going to like you to follow up. You've got other people that are going to maybe just be once a week. Um, don't be concerned if they're not there. Leave a story. I always tell people I assume that you're loving this product. Um, here is, you know, Bob, and he's going to share a story, and Bob leaves a story on the line. All right? That's that's how it works. Um but we're going to get people results. When I get to the end of the month and I tell people, you know, look, you know, it looks like you're probably out of um, product time to reorder. When I have someone that tells me, no, no, I've got three quarters of the can left, and they'll say, oh, well, I've been taking, you know, a scoop every time, you know, twice a day. And I just, I call them on. At the beginning, when I first got started, I used to think, how can that be? And knowing that there's no way that could have happened. But I was too, I was too timid to be able to call them out. Now I just say, you know what, Bob, do you have a magic can or something? Because there's no way that you can have that much left if you were taking two scoops a day. It's it's just not possible. So what's going on? And Bob will say, well, you know, I haven't really been taking it. Then we talk about it. But give people results, all right? They they can't get results if they're not taking the product. That's that's kind of the, the major thing. So make sure that they know. Okay. So complete the picture. Show them the details. Help people discover the path that's right for them and set them up for success. I think that um, one of the things, let me go back into here. And let me go, hold on just one second, please. I want to go back to here. Hold on. I don't think that's where I want to. One moment, please. I'm looking for my... um... There you go. Hold on just a second, everybody. We're having a slight... We're not having a technical difficulty. I'm having a brain difficulty, so just a second. Um... Let me go over to here. Let me go over to here. Let me go, where is she? 
I'm missing what I want. I can't find what I wanted. What I wanted to go through was all the forms of the uh, director. Make sure that when you're talking to people that you know um, where you're headed, that you can explain to them the different levels of the directorship. You know that when I hang up, I'm going to be able to find it. But it's important that you do because let's say that you have somebody that, you know, wants to become a master affiliate and then they want to make, you know, a lot of people will tell you, okay, I want to make $500 in my my first um, month. Show them how to do it. Show them how to, you know, bring people in as quick starts. That will get the return on their investment. Show them how to um, bring other people in as master affiliates where they can earn $250, you know, for each one. Show them how to do that. Um, if you have people that say that they want to earn, you know, $4,000 by the end of the year, great. How much time do you think you can put into Relo? Well, about an hour a week. I'm going to tell them that might not be possible. I'm just going to tell them, you know, would you expect in any traditional job that if you worked four hours a month that you can make $4,000 a month by the end of the year? I'm going to tell them, let's put in, you know, let's put in a little bit more. How about if we are, you know, worked four to ten hours a week? Um, that's going to be more, you know, possible. You guys, make sure that you know the vision. And, I, I'm, you know, we're talking about other people. I want you to think about yourself. I want you to look at this picture and see if it's been, if it's filled in for you. Um, you know, have you really filled it in? What, what is it? What is it that you want to achieve? And how much time are you willing to spend to relive this year? What are you going to do? Um, what's your plan of action? This is the time to make it happen. You know, amazingly enough, people will set goals and it, all around, whether it's exercising, whether it's relive or whatever, 70% of those people are not going to achieve their goals. So when we set our goals, sometimes we set them for everyone else to think how great we are and how wonderful it will be. I'm going to ask you to have personal integrity and be honest with yourself and set goals that you're honestly going to try to achieve, that you're not going to do it to make your upline or anybody else go, wow, that's great, when you know in the back of your head you won't do it. And yet we go through, we go through a period of time where we're kind of riding on everyone else's shirt tails and getting through all the excitement. I'm just saying, why not make 2018 the year that you're going to follow through with the things that you set out to do? I have a saying, and this is a quietism, and it is, if your life depended upon relive, would you do things differently? It's on, the, it's on a, a big whiteboard in my office. I'm looking at it right now, and it's been there for years. If, if you had to depend on Relive, would you do things differently? I mean, you know, Jim had a sudden retirement and made a phenomenal income. And yes, he's got a great pension. But what Relive allowed us all those years to do is Relive paid for everything while he was able to pretty much bank bank his, ten, his, his income. That gave us such a wonderful thing where we didn't have to worry about anything. What is your reasoning? What is your purpose for being involved in Relive? It doesn't matter whether you are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. It doesn't matter. Just figure it out. And and get together with your upline and draw out that complete picture and have them show you the details. See, we've been talking about what you can do for other people, but really part of this call might be what you can do for yourself. Discover your path so that you can help others discover their path. Set yourself up for success so that you can set other people up for success. That's really how it works. We are highly paid storytellers. It's our job to expose and connect people to stories. When we do our job, people learn how to take the products correctly. They become consistent. They're encouraged. Those three things will keep people on the products. Not everyone is like me. Nobody ever called me. But the results I got were so dramatic, there was no way that I would not take this product. See, I have to be careful in sharing my story sometimes because people think that if they don't get those kind of immediate benefits that the products aren't working. My husband was very subtle. It wasn't until a couple months later that Jim realized that he wasn't on the couch, that he wasn't having his migraines. Those things are subtle. We have to be able to, to recognize that. We have to help people get results and so that they become customers, distributors, and master affiliates. That's how we build our business. You guys, 
I I have um we have an organization and we have we have a couple people in our group that love to retail. Retailing and is hard. I don't want to go out to go out every single month and try to do the same thing to replace what I just did. Part of how we build a big business is through building layers and layers of master affiliates. That's what we do. Sponsoring, getting people to master affiliate happens when you, remember at the very beginning, how does it all happen? It happens when you prepare for immediate action, when you're ready to go out on the spot. I'd love to know in, you know, next week or the week after. We're actually going to be in Disneyland next week, but we'd love to know who, you know, who did go out this week and have immediate action? Who went out and, and took control? And we're ready. Who's ready to talk about the entire picture? Not just the part that you're comfortable with, but the whole picture of what Relive offers and find out about what they want. Paint that canvas. Find out everything that they want. What about getting people to get results? That's the big thing. Because if you do that, if you take immediate action, you talk about the entire picture, and you help people get results, your business is going to grow. And by doing that, it leads to happy customers, happy wholesale customers. Because we have a um, we have a um, a wholesale average every month of well over five thousand dollars. Those are just people that are happy consumers that have been purchasing this product for twenty six, twenty five years. Okay, that's just people that you know. We send a, a Christmas card usually. Um, every year to master affiliates, we try to always send them birthday cards, but they're they're just happy, okay? Because we've got them good results. Customers that become distributors, distributors become master affiliates, master affiliates become business builders, and the road can take you as far as you want to go. Oops, let me go back. Hold on. Don't know if that'll take me back. All right, so. That's part of training today, and I'm going to open up the lines. We're we're almost done here. Make it down to um, one just a second. Got to open up the lines here. Hold on. All right, the lines are unmuted. Um, I will go to back to this really quick for those of you that came on. We're just asking if you're going to participate in this training that you do contribute. There is a cost. Portland has carried it for well over, we've carried it for many years. So if you're in an area with over three people, just $30 for the whole year for everybody in your area, like the area of Chicago, the area of Michigan, 30 bucks. Um, if you're in an area by yourself, it's $10. Two people would be, you know, $10 for two people, and then um, $30 for more than, than three. I hope that that makes sense. But any any comments about what I've talked about today? Anything makes sense about how we've got to make sure that we um, we know what we're doing here? It's important. Everybody think that makes sense? Yes, it makes sense. But I have a question. Okay. To we qualify as master affiliate, it's either um, a five thousand dollars in one month, or is it still $3,000 two months in a row? Okay, well, it's $3,000 two months in a row is an option to become a master. When okay. you re-qualify, it's the exact same way that you became a master affiliate. So you can, okay. I hope that that makes sense. So it's $5,000 to become a master affiliate. Um, if you have someone else who did five thousand dollars, you do a thousand dollars above, you could do two, three thousand dollar months in a row. Make sure for those of you that are requalifying this month, that if you have P V Q coming out of that, it's actually five thousand one hundred dollars. So just be aware of right. that. Right. So that's that's how it works. Thank you very much. All right. Great training. Else have a question? Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. Well, hey, I'm Claude. just going to encourage everyone. Oh, oh, somebody else. Yes, go ahead. Hi, Kyle. This is Catherine Moran back in Pennsylvania out the East Coast. I wanted to thank you for this because I had invited a few people on, and I, with them are masters who just became masters, and I'm praying they got on. So uh, 
I wanted to thank you for that, and um, I will give you a call. I'll, I'll get your number from Diane or Mary. Diane. <laughs> Because I do want to, I want to try and send something. So, Great. thanks so much. And, and we'd love to have your participation. And for those of you that, um, especially on the ambassador for and or distributors, if you're willing to participate in the training, you know, I have an assistant Becky, and she sets the coordinates the trainings and gets everybody on here. Um, you know, this is really a cohesive effort because there's so many of us. And and again, it's just. You know, you still want to have those things that are going on in your area, but so many of us are in different areas, and uh, we need that connectivity. And be prepared to share what successes you've had during the week. Um, you know, there are some times that we'll get on this call, and we'll have 30 minutes just of people telling what has happened during the week. So, you know, let's just take this year and grab a hold of it and make it what you want. And uh, we're so happy that you've all been able to be on the training today and have a, a great week and a great year. And we'll talk with you Thank soon. You. Bye, everybody. Bye.